In a comment on a previous video, Dale Matthews asked how you would control the time setting by analog input. So here we'll do a quick example. We've set up a timer with a three second fixed delay. I'm setting up the message block as usual with the current time and the remaining time in there just to help with our understanding. Run the simulation and start the timer. We can see the first count value is counting up, the second one is counting down. We can display the parameters there. We can see the time actual and the time delay settings on those. So we can feed in the analog value into the time setting. To do that, we'll take analog input one, we're going to have to terminate the chain with an analog marker, and we're going to use a special function, analog amplifier. Connect those up. And we're going to allow the time setting to change between 100 milliseconds and 8,000 milliseconds. Now we'll expand the parameter box, and you'll see that there is an output of the analog value available for us. And we can wire that up to the time delay. And we can see that the minimum value for the analog amplifier of 100 has been fed into the timer. That's going to be a little short for us to see. Note that the message display has formatted the times as seconds and hundredths of seconds. Notice also here that we can no longer change the, the time base of the timer from seconds to minutes or hours, but if we delete the analog connection, we're free to change them again. So for this exercise, we're changing to minutes and we're going to allow the time we wanted to go for between five seconds and 100. Now I'll just point out here that the analog amplifier has changed that to five to 105 due to restrictions with the analog maths. Look out for a video on that where I'll do some deeper exploring and show you some good tools for understanding gain and offset. Here we've set up 88 seconds on the analog input, and we can see that the timer counts down from one minute 20 seconds in one second intervals. Note also that the timer is displaying units of minutes with the seconds appearing after the colon. That's it. Thank you for the comment and the question. Hope this is useful to someone. Like and subscribe. Bye.